from the book of Romans this morning. Romans, the 10th chapter, verses 9 and 10. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Verse 10, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. It's Saturday, and it is the Sabbath day, January the 13th, in the year 2018. Good morning, you too. My beautiful, wonderful, glorious, simply amazing, outstanding, undeniably the greatest, the best viewers and subscribers, my precious brothers and sisters. Gather around on this Saturday, the Sabbath, and uh, pull up a chair. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave as uh, we begin this day together, the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. I'm so thankful that he has given us one more day to bring glory to his kingdom and to glorify the most high living God, Yahweh. I've got my coffee with cream. I've only got a little drop of coffee left. No sugar, of course. How do you take your coffee? Are you having coffee with me this morning? Are you a coffee drinker even? If not, what are you going to share? How do you wake up in the morning? I have coffee all day long. And coffee, if you see behind my head, five cents a cup. Five cents a cup. I remember. I think it was White Castle. Years ago, when I was a younger man, when I wore a younger man's clothes, but you could get coffee for a nickel. Not anymore. Let me know what you're going to share with Pastor Dave and do that now. I'm curious. I really enjoy this part of our morning. Knowing what you're sharing with Pastor Dave in the comment section below. Do that now for me. Uh, humor me. Humor me. It's all the way to the bottom. I don't know you can't see. Can you see? All the way almost to the bottom of the cup. I'm trying to cut back a little bit, but, uh, well, you can't tell yet. It's coming in very slowly, but I've been trying to, let me see over here, grow this beard. And you can, I, if you... If you are here in front of me, you can see the little stubbles. So we're going to see how that. I'm going to keep it neat and trimmed. Kind of like, uh, uh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Kind of like that country singer, remember him? Hang on. Kind of like maybe Kenny Rogers. You like my hat? Kenny Rogers. I have so many hats. That's, that's, uh, that's just Pastor Dave. And, uh, oh, my goodness. I'm heading out uh, first this morning to the city of Flint and then we're going heading towards the east side of Detroit and Detroit and uh, the surrounding areas with our ministry and our outreach to the poor and to the homeless. Let me ask you, are you saved? Because the end times are here. They're not upon us. They're in our face. Jesus is coming. He's coming in the clouds. He's coming very quickly. And there is spiritual wickedness, evil in high places, and there is so much going on, so much chaos. In another dimension, another realm that we can't see with our physical eyes, and it's morphing into this dimension. We're going to talk about that. But the time for salvation is now. Will you take that giant leap of faith? Will you please? Because there is no other way. A lot of talk about Oprah Winfrey and wanting to run for president of the United States, and she's into all of this uh, non-Christian evil beliefs uh, that there's all kind of ways to heaven. There is no way. Jesus said there, no one goes to the Father except through me. Please, it's very simple. If you would like to give your life to Jesus today, but if thou shalt confess, speak, confess with your mouth, that Jesus is the Lord, the Messiah, and shall believe in my heart that God has raised him from the dead, who shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. 
You don't have to get up into an altar call at a large assembly, a fellowship in the church, and just because somebody else is getting up, you don't want to be uh, singled out, so you go up and join the altar call and say a, a, few, a few lines of the sinner's prayer. You've got to mean it. You've got to mean it. You've got to want to accept Jesus. You want to have that gift of eternal life. Please do it today. Please do it today. I'm going to try to do a series because there is a, a lot going on in the world and there is a great, great lie, a great deception that has fallen over the church today, the Church of Jesus Christ, and uh, they're slowly coming out with disclosure and uh, this has been going on way back in the time of Hitler even. And I want to expose, I want to shine light on this darkness about what these UFOs are and these sightings and what really took place in Roswell, New Mexico. Going back to, going back to the time of Adolf Hitler and his advanced uh, uh, weapons of warfare, advanced technology for the time, and uh, Operation Paperclip. And uh, I just want to shine light onto another, not planets, not in our solar system, not a wormhole, but another dimension, another realm in the spirit world, and the great lie and the great deception that's going to fall upon the whole world, and it's coming quickly. It's coming very, very quickly. Very quickly. I'm going to go to ministry announcements uh, this morning. I, I got to head out on a busy day today. Michelle, Sister Michelle, two offerings. I, haven't, I didn't even come on YouTube yesterday. I've been so busy. Michelle, one offering for $200 and then one for $100. Brother Eric, every day, I told you, $10 to our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Jeremy, $50. I'm going to be heading towards Troy, Michigan. And my precious viewer and subscriber that called, I sent you a message this morning. I would love to meet up with you, and I, I guess you have some supplies for the homeless. So uh, we are going to be working on that. I want to remind you before I leave this morning, world without end, amen. I see a lot of teachers, I see a lot of pastors on YouTube talking about the end of the world and the world ending. The world doesn't end. There's so much going on with Bible prophecy, a lot of prophecy that has to be fulfilled yet. Even when we see talk of planet X and Planet uh, 7X, Nibiru, Wormwood in the Bible, the world it doesn't end. It doesn't end. The lawless one, the son of perdition, has to come on the world stage and deceive everyone, including Israel. And uh, we have to have what's called great tribulation. And then we have to have Jesus return. We go up first in the rapture. There is no... Uh, timeline. I believe a, a large earthquake will happen. We are caught up in the rapture. We return with Jesus. He goes and fights the battle of Armageddon in the land of Megiddo. And then there's the thousand year millennial reign. And then there's going to be a new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. John said, I, I looked and I saw a new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. So let's quit living in fear about the end of the world. There's a prediction. Uh, I think it's David Mead, this ridiculous, and he calls himself a Christian, about doomsday 2018 and the prosperity gospel. Uh, fear pumpers are, are cashing in on doomsday. Again, this year, now it was 2070, now it's 2000. It's like setting dates for the rapture. Don't live in fear. Don't please, I, uh, why do you follow all this nonsense? this gibberish on uh, the internet. I love you guys. Pray for our ministry and outreach to the homeless. Pray for those that are living outside in the elements. It's freezing cold again. We had a little break in the weather and now we're just buried knee deep in snow again. Pray for our safe travels with our mission, our urban ministry to the homeless. We're going to Flint and then heading the way of the Big D, Detroit, Michigan. I love you guys and uh, look up. Lift up your heads. He's coming quickly. My Jesus, my Jesus is coming. I'll put the links below to how you can support God's ministry and outreach in the last moments to the homeless. God bless you. Shalom.